Good morning, children. It's Reverend Phil here for our worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to light my special candle on my worship table. And when I say the Lord is here, if you say his Spirit is with us. You ready? The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Today we're thinking about a special time of year called harvest. It's a time when we think about what we eat and drink and the journey it takes from crops growing in the fields to the meals that we enjoy. And we give thanks for it. Actually, you caught me in the middle of having me breakfast. I must have had a bit of a late start today. I wonder what you had for your breakfast. Well, I had, here we go, can you see it? Some toast. Mmm. And marmalade. Very nice. And... A cup of tea. And you know, it does fit in with our harvest theme. For as we think about what we eat and drink and the journey it takes from crops growing in the fields or on the trees to becoming a breakfast like this. So let's think about it for a minute. I got most of the ingredients here from the shop in brood. But where do they all come from originally? So, toast is made of bread and bread is mainly made from wheat and this wheat came from farms in Staffordshire. And then the butter on the bread, on the toast, which you can't really see very well now, but the butter came from a dairy farm in Cornwall, Cornish butter. And then the marmalade has got oranges in it. And those oranges came from Spain. And as well as oranges, you make marmalade with quite a lot of sugar. And the sugar came from all the way over the ocean in Brazil. And then we've got my tea. The tea in my mug of tea came all the way from India. And then the milk in the tea, well, that was from a dairy farm up the road. So my simple breakfast, which is mm, very nice, by the way, has come from Staffordshire, Cornwall, Spain, Brazil, and India. Wow. Just think of all the people who must have been involved in getting me that breakfast. The farmers, the growers, the pickers, the transporters, the shopkeepers, just to name some of them. And yet we take it all for granted. That's why it's so good to have a time of year when we can Give thanks for all of them, especially our own farmers in this country. And we give thanks most of all to God, the God who blesses us with the sun and the rain and the fertile soil and all the minerals and natural resources we need to keep our world going and to keep our food growing. There's a lovely verse in the Bible which captures that sentiment. It's from Psalm 65. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with, the streams of God, excuse me, are filled with water to provide the people with corn. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. 
One more thing about harvest. Because we have so much food on our shelves in our kitchens whenever we want it, we try to help out those who have so little. That's why we collect food to support the work of the Wolverhampton Food Bank or the Good Shepherd or other organisations like that that help to provide for those in need. Amen. So now it's time for one of my favourite harvest songs. I'll just get my guitar. Here it is. And it's the song, Thank You Lord for This Fine Day. So we're going to sing that and the chorus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I'm sure you remember it. And the second verse we're going to say, sing, thank you, Lord, for the food we eat. Are you ready? Thank you, Lord, for this fine day. Thank you, Lord, for this fine day. Thank you, Lord, for this fine day. Right where we are. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So this time I want you to think of your favourite food or maybe two foods and sing thank you Lord for whatever that food is. Okay have you thought what you're going to sing? Well I'm going to sing thank you Lord for fruit and chocolate. You can sing that as well if you want or you can sing your own version. Are you ready? Thank you Lord for fruit and chocolate. Thank So now it's time for our prayers. So shall we bow our heads and close our eyes and I'll say a prayer. Dear Lord, we give you thanks for this wonderful world you have given us. We give thanks for our farmers and all those who help make our food available. Help us to do what we can to help those who have so little food who are facing hardship or even starvation. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today, children. And I can finish my breakfast now. God bless. <laughs>